Hello guys, Sam here at Lancaster Automart. It's another lovely sunny day in paradise. I've got this Ford B-Max to bring you today. It's 1.5 TDCI and it's a titanium navigate haul, which means it's got loads and loads of kit on it. Registered in 2018, so an 18 plate that's less than £10,000. What a great price that is. Mileage is less than £15,000 as well. It's in fact just over £12,000, which is ideal. Uh, one previous keeper, full service history, up to 78.5 miles per gallon as well, so nice low running costs. You've got 94 brake horsepower, and that's six in the 1.5 engine, and you've got loads and loads of kits to stand in the front. So you can see, you've got daytime running lights, front fog lights. windows as well which looks fantastic moving around to the back you've got the rear parking sensors so loads of bigger than most cars you won't struggle to park it nice big boot definitely enough room in there for the kids extra little bit of room under there as well which is ideal when you're in the uh, the less savory parts of the country that'll be ideal to hide your valuables it's also got things like shopping bag holders in there as well slidey doors which i like Slidey doors are very, very handy. Nice and easy access for your nan. Beautiful cream interior. Bit of storage there as well. Nice armrest in the centre. Cloth seats as well, so nice and soft. You've got little bits of storage all over the place, which is really good. Nice dashboard on there. You've got a tiny screen at the top. Nice big bolsters on the seats as well, so they'll hold you in position as you tear it around jump in okay Ooh. much warmer in here than it is out there let me tell you let me just turn that radio down a touch okay so there you go beautiful beautiful dashboard on this one i really like the ford clocks i think they look quite cool so what you've got is on your left you've got your rev counter on the right you've got your speedometer in the middle you've got your fuel camera fuel camera fuel gauge and up here this nifty little thing is a little computer that gives you all sorts of information that does um it'll give you information about fuel consumption and how many miles you're doing as you see there 12,142 miles you've also got your trips on there as well i'm just gonna reset that actually but all sorts so average miles per hour average miles per gallon all that sort of stuff temperature time all sorts of stuff as you move back in this one you've got a multifunctioning steering wheel nice steering wheel as well so as you can see you've got voice commands skipping radio songs radio stations or cd songs or whatever uh, you've also got picking up and putting on your bluetooth telephone and volume controls as well on this side you've got your cruise control options you then got wipers there indicated on this side headlamps down here this little button here is for the automatic headlights which is dead handy You've then got, um, this is a brightness for your, um, your speedometer and stuff like that. Front and rear fog lights there as well. On the dash, nice door handle with a speaker integrated into it, which I think is really cool. Nice premium sound system. Full electric windows on this one. Down here is your adjuster for your, um, your, uh, your wing mirrors. And then when you press it down like that, folds the mirrors in and out. You get to see my pretty face. There you go. Okay, you've then got child lock for your windows. If the, child, the children are doing the red in, putting the windows up and down, up and down, up and down, you can stop that, just stops it breaking. On to the centre, you've got this beautiful little screen up the top there that gives you all sorts of information about the, uh, the media player. So you've got a CD slot, this little thing right here. That's uh, dead handy. A lot of things are dating them out now, which is good that this one still has it. Radio. So let's just click on to that. So you've got uh, digital radio there, as you can see. You've also got FM, AM radio. You've got auxiliary and USB inputs. You've also got Bluetooth as well. So it's dead, dead easy to play the music that you want. Connect your MP3 player or your telephone, nice and easy. You can do that for calls. You can do that for music. So that's a, that's a big, big bonus. You then got all your buttons there for your infotainment screen. So I know that looks like a lot, but it's not actually that difficult at all. You've got your presets up the top. You've then got different options of what you can see on there. As you see, you can see uh, station manual text and the little um, mute button here. They relate to these four buttons here. So station, manual, text, and the volume. So as you can see, they do, they do relate. Uh, then what you've got is your menu button. So you can go through there. Oh, sorry the wrong button so you can go through there and you've got all sorts of different uh, different bits and bats on there let's get the map up sat nav screen is just there crystal clear dead easy to use um da -da -da -da, into the menu so you've got your navigation audio vehicle settings all sorts of stuff on there guys so that's that system there 
in all its glory it looks fantastic then what you've got is your climate control settings down here so you've got your temperature dial there then you've got the fan speed here it starts to speed up quite quickly and um, then what you've got is a heated front windscreen on this one which is ideal for the patented that that's that button there you've got a heated rear windscreen there as well so nice and, uh, and quick to clear any frost in the winter which is absolutely ideal uh, you've then got pollen filter as well which is brilliant for your hay fever sufferers and then all the other controls are the standard uh, the standard controls that you'd find on any car you've then got stop start systems to help yourself with some fuel you can turn it on and off if you don't like it um, USB and auxiliary input power input there as well You've then got a nice gear gator with uh, a lever wrapped and it's up to five speed. Cup holders down there, normal handbrake so you can get your skids out. And then you've got a little bit of storage in there as well with power inputs. Um, so there you go, really, really nice car. This little feature I really like. So get the kids in there. When they're doing your editing, you can pull that down, see what they're, see what they're actually up to. Okay, guys, so that's everything from me. Get yourself that Lancaster Automat. Ask to speak to Sam. I'll look after you. I'll do you a fantastic deal. But come and check this BMAX out. It's less than £10,000 for an 18 plate. The car's basically brand new. Come and see me and I'll look after you. Cheers, guys. Speak to you soon. Bye bye.